Hi, this is Francis from Acro Couple, and uh, I just wanted to talk today about something, answer a question actually in Acro that actually leads to a lesson that applies, I think, outside of Acro. So let's get to it. So the question is, and I'm sure you've heard it, or maybe you've even asked it yourself, is, uh, am I too small to base? Am I too weak? Am I too big to fly? You know, it's like people think there's always something that keeps them. And it becomes a barrier for anyone who wants to try something new or even someone who wants to try acro for the first time. And the answer can be very direct, but it's not always the final answer. For example, if we just look at ourselves, and this is what happens most of the time. So we can say, I'm three times the size of the, the, the base, so I can't, I can't do that. Or the flyer is a ton for me and I can't carry that. So. I can't. And that's, that's true. That's great self-assessment. But what people miss half the time, and this is what I want people to remember, this is the perspective that acro is a connective practice. You know? We're connected. There's always someone else we're working with. It's not just us. So the question actually should be, can we do this? Can you and I put our strengths together, our skills together, and maybe I could fly or maybe I could base? No. There's always someone else. So in asking these types of questions, like, can we do something? We need to bring the other person into the conversation, into the equation. Like, we have to communicate with them and talk to them and see what they can give if we're working together. And that's what's going to really answer the question. Can we do this? You know, for example, myself, I'm not usually a flyer. Usually, I, I'm too heavy for the base. And... Um, I can honestly say a lot of times I cannot fly because I'm too heavy. But that's, again, just seeing it from my point of view. My assessment of myself is also that I know how to carry my weight, I, I know how to keep myself safe, and also my base safe. So if I find a base that's confident or strong or skilled enough, then yes, I can fly. And the answer changes like from the one side to the other. You know? You've used this in life too, you know, like when you find you can't do something, because you feel like you have some limitation, you're too whatever. That's great. You realize that about yourself, but also remember, life is not alone. We're always relating to something, whether it's the earth or our friends or people that care about us, or even just some random stranger that just cares. Life is connection. We are relational beings. We are human beings. We live through relations. So look around, see if someone can lend their strength their skill and help you get over whatever hurdle you're facing. Try that and uh, let me know. Um, it's worked for me. Uh, if it doesn't work for you, tell us about it. If it worked for you, tell us about it as well. And uh, if you're really angry about thinking this way, we'd like to hear what you say as well. So thank you and uh, see you next time.